Scott McGregor here with Rapid Media TV, and I'm here with Luke. Day four, buddy. Yeah. It's almost over here at Outdoor Retailer. Uh, tell me a little bit about the uh, the new Old Town Loon. This yeah, is pretty so great. Absolutely. We uh, are showing this for the first time at the show. We talked at ICAST. Yeah, we saw, the I, I saw the Loon Angler. Yeah, yeah. for and sure. So this is the uh, the wreck variation of that. And in the rec model, there's actually three in the series. Okay. A 106, a 120, and a 126. Great. And really, the idea behind the loon was fitting the paddler to the boat. Okay. We wanted a high-performance boat, we wanted features, and we wanted a comfortable fit. And that's where we incorporated the ACS-2 seat. And so with the loon series, it was really the first boat to be designed around the ACS-2 seat. Right, so you started with the seat and built the boat around it. Exactly. That's great. Exactly. Well, let's talk about the seat. I mean... It's, uh, if nothing else, it's trimmed beautifully. It looks like suede. I mean, I'm sure it's not suede in there, but it looks no, very nice. No, but they, they did a great job on the styling and uh, look of it. There's performance foam. It's perforated, so it's quick drying, but it also gives an extra cushion to it. And it looks like it'd be airy, not only just yeah. quick drying, but it looks like you wouldn't sweat in it either. Yeah, exactly. It's breathable from not just the padding, but the deck pan and seat pan itself is actually okay. perforated. And that perforation actually provides a functional element as well. So the seat pan can be raised and lowered just by pulling the handle in front of the paddler. And that seat pan flexes underneath you and gives you a more contoured, comfortable fit. Okay. So that raises and lowers just to, if people aren't, if their boat yeah, doesn't do that, it gives, to, it gives you, you a little bit of rest. If you want to change leg position, right. uh, take some weight off your legs, or if you want to stretch out. And the other nice thing it does is if you're changing water conditions, maybe you're heading into some white water, you can actually raise the seat pan up a little bit to lock your legs in tighter right. underneath, have a tighter fit to the just boat. Just a little more secure fit. You can adjust the lumbar support up and down, forward and backward, uh, and it's all easy to do. There's icons, instructions, pull tabs, everything's highlighted, and there's even a website address on there so you can see a video on how to do it. Right, and you know what, And you, the cool part of that is you can actually have your iPhone with you here because you have a USB I like your transition, like I like so your transition. So if you truly are uncomfortable, yeah. you can get on your phone and figure out how to adjust the seat. That's right. Tell me about the dock, I don't know what you're calling this, but the dock, I think it looks like a dock or a deck of some kind, a yeah. dashboard almost. Yeah, so this is the, uh, the work deck that the team came up with, and this is through uh, doing some feedback and some research with consumers. Um, we knew that they wanted places to store things. Uh, so there's a dry storage compartment, there's some gear trays, there's a cup holder on top, and there's actually a water bottle track uh, on the bottom, so you okay. can stay hydrated on the water. And we found that people wanted to stay connected. They were using their phones, they are using their GoPros, their wireless speakers, and so we added a Bluetooth, uh, uh, not a Bluetooth, we added a USB, USB to this. Yep. And so the uh, Bluetooth speaker, you can power all day long right. by plugging in your USB power. And inside the dry storage I'll is check that a out. Uh, battery. And that battery, uh, it can be any Morphe juice pack, uh, they're sold everywhere. You can just go yeah, pick one right. up, plug it in, this happens to be a waterproof one we picked up at uh, Target. All right. So, and that list, this obviously, there's a little bracket here. It looks like this lifts out, so it locks onto the cockpit. Yeah. And if you don't want it, or if you want to take it off when you get back to the truck, that just That's snaps right. out, lifts out. It's and, it's removable, and it gives us the option to have uh, oversized cockpit if they wanted to put a spray skirt on, or have a child or a dog sitting in front, uh, just easily unlatch the deck work deck and move it away. And when you're ready to use it, just pop it on. Right. And another nice thing about that is if you're traveling and you've got your kayak on top of your car or in the bed of your truck, if you've got your accessories already attached to the work deck, just undo the whole work deck and lock it in your car. You don't have to worry about your stuff getting stolen. Uh, that's right. All right. So this one looks pretty polished. That seat looks ready to go. Yeah, um, so this is the, the 120, and the one, 126 and 106 behind us are out of the prototype mold. This is the finished mold, and so this one will actually be launching and shipping to dealers in November. Okay. So three-layer hull, gorgeous four-color uh, setup, and uh, we're really excited about, uh, about the new moon. And the other ones are coming in the spring? Yes, so uh, for the 126, that'll be in January, and the 106 will be in uh, February shipping to dealers. Luke? Thank you very much. Enjoy Absolutely. the rest of the show. This Thanks, is very Scott. exciting. Scott McGregor here in the Old Town booth at Outdoor Retailer, hoping you paddle forever.